Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Shantae's Way here today. So today I'm going to be showing you guys my, one of my best twist outs. I was going to say my best, but I do a lot of good twist outs. So I would say one of the best twist outs. So we're going to go ahead and get started. And if you want to go ahead and see, then stay tuned. So I find with my hair, it's really good for me to start out on clean hair to get that moisturized, super defined, curly twist out look. I can do my hair on dry twist outs, but, but starting out on wet hair actually works a lot better when it comes to keeping it for a little bit longer. So I'm going to start off with my shampoo and you guys already know I have my new shampoo out, Nourish by Shantae, Pink Honeysuckle plus Owl Flower. It's amazing and it's on my website right now so you can go to nourishbyshantae.com. Also thanks for all the support from you guys. I've seen all the support. You guys are just amazing. So yeah, if you want to check out the shampoo, head over to my website at nourishbyshantae.com. So I'm just going ahead and washing my hair. As you guys know, I'm doing my entire wash day. I'm not going to go super in-depth in this video just because I am thinking to put out a winter wash routine for you guys, like an updated one. Actually, like this video if you would like for that to be one of the next videos that I put out because winter is coming up. So this definitely is the first most important tip to a really defined, moisturized, the best twist out. Comment down below if you like to start your twist outs on fresh wash days or if you like to start them out on dry hair or, you know, old hair. Let me know down in the comment section. So after I get out of the shower um, from freshly clean hair, I go ahead and start my twist out. So I definitely like to section off my hair when I do my twist outs because it makes it easier for me to get every strand of my hair. A lot of times... Um, when you try to, you know, put product on your whole hair and then like then do the twist out, it just does not work out as good. You'll see that your hair is a lot frizzier within a few days or that your hair is not as moisturizing. So starting your hair on section hair and doing subsections and actually paying attention to each strand really does pay off in the end. So if you guys are wondering, I just went ahead and added a leave-in conditioner to my hair just because this is like the base of a moisturized look. So I definitely always do a leave-in, a cream, and then put an oil on top with all of my styles. And with your leave-in, you want to make sure that you use a water-based leave-in so that your hair can actually um, be moisturized. You don't want to use a leave-in that does not have water in the ingredient list. So my next tip is to make sure that you thoroughly detangle your hair. If you start off a twist out with hair that's not detangled or that is slightly detangled, you're going to have some issues when you go and take out your twist because they're already getting, getting wrapped around each other and I'm pretty sure you're going to have this in overnight. So when you take out your twist, you can have like a lot of knots. So make sure that you detangle your hair and also having a like smooth um, surface and having your hair smoothed down when you're doing your twist outs it just makes it so much more tamed and it makes it so much more defined especially if you're transitioning you really want to make sure that you do not skip the detangling part and smoothing down your hair it's a very important tip to having a really structured curly defined um, twist out especially if you have hair just like me So you guys notice how I'm smoothing down my hair as I twist. This is what I do to my twist outs when I want them to be very structured and defined. So smoothing a product through your hair with a good cream or moisturizer. I did apply another cream to my hair on top of the leave-in conditioner. You also want to make sure that you layer your products so that your twist out can actually look and feel moisturized. All right, so I'm going ahead and smoothing the product through my hair. Then I'm taking my detangling brush and I'm just going through my hair. And like I said, this just helps to get everything nice and detangled, have everything look a lot more smoother, and just make sure curls come through a lot more neat. So I'm going to go ahead and twist my hair. And when I twist my hair, I literally take my fingers and I smooth it down as I twist. So 
So when you get to the ends of your hair, of your twist out, you want to make sure that you actually curl your hair with your finger. And this is just going to coil the ends of your hair so that when you take out your twist, the ends of your hair can be nice and curly as well. And it doesn't look as frizzy once it dries. So I do find that cooling your hair, finger coiling your hair at the ends really does work. If you don't have um, super curly hair or if you're transitioning, you can use a perm rod at the end of your hair and that too will give you like that really, really curly structured curl at the end so that your hair doesn't look frizzy at the end and it doesn't mess up your entire style. Also make sure that you put enough product on your hair. A lot of times I see people don't put a lot of product on their hair so their twist out only lasts for that day or their hair is super frizzy, it's not as defined. So make sure that you actually put like enough water and make sure you put enough cream, leave-in, like don't be shy with the products, just pile them on. <laughs> Thumbs up this video if you get so much product in your hair that it actually gets on your face. <laughs> Am I the only one? So I ended up with about four twists on each side. And keep in mind that you can do flat twists or if you want to do three strand twists you can. But this was just a lot easier for me. And I'm going to allow my hair to air dry overnight. And then I'll see you guys in the morning when I take it out. So I'm going ahead and taking down my twist and my only advice for taking down twists is just to take your time. Of course I have it sped up so it looks like I'm just like ripping my hair but I'm actually being very gentle so just make sure that you just take your time because the twists are wrapped around each other and like pulling them too much can cause a lot of frizz especially if you have hair like mine's. Um, it's better to not pick out your curls if you have hair similar to mine's because the curls will end up being more frizzy if you have hair that's similar to like my daughter's or like um, more curly coolly type of hair then you can definitely pick your curls out once you take the twist out um, and it just looks a lot more fuller but for me it just doesn't work out that way i always wish that i have that type of hair but yeah it just doesn't work out that way so I'm going to take my growth oil and I'm going to put that on the ends of my hair and also just on the entirety of my hair just because it makes it have a lot more of a shine and just a nice moisturized look and it just finished off everything. Even though I already soaked my hair with oil, it just looks a lot better when I make it look a little bit shiny by putting it on on the finished look. So guys, that was my best twist out tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. My curls came out super defined from doing that layering process, which is a leave-in cream and then putting an oil on to seal in all the moisture. My hair was super moisturized and this stayed for about three days. My twist outs don't stay for long. I thank you guys so much for watching this video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!